G'day, Steve Morgan here. Fishing Monthly Magazine's cracking day on the Gold Coast in South East Queensland. I've got Laurie with me from Whitley Sales in Queensland. And Laurie, we've tested a few Whitley boats before. And I remember the last time I tested this one, it was a CW1650. Why the change to FF? Yeah, well, we uh, we, we used to have uh, Clearwater CW, but now they're FF, Fish Finder. A uh, bit of confusion between our alloy stock and our uh, fiberglass stock. So new branding for the uh, for the clear waters and we've tested this boat before the 1650 but powered by Yamaha this time by Mercury uh, take us through the hull it's it's like a runabout style hull isn't it yes that's correct uh, cutty cab uh, small uh, berth in the front um, and uh, yeah 75 uh, uh, Mercury on the on the boat it's just a you know, really good uh, really good fit for the boat so for me, Laurie, this is the sort of boat that if someone's uh, tired of getting beaten up in a tinny, they want a fiberglass boat with a bit of shade, a little bit of space to get out of the sun. This is the stepping stone up into the Whitley family. Correct. Uh, young families really love this boat because they can put the kids under the front, out of the sun, out of the weather, and uh, be fishing off the back. And um, you know, it's just a really good size. It's our entry level for for our boats. It's the smallest boat we do make, Steve. Um, also, you can fit it on a single axle trailer. It comes in under that sort of one and a half ton mark, so uh, easier man to manoeuvre and fit into a garage. This yes, boat. that's correct. Uh, and the, the canopies do drop down, so if you do have any issues of on trailer, you can drop the canopies down, and it goes under most carport canopies. Yeah. Um, even though it's the smallest, uh, the smallest boat in the Whitley range, still has all of the features at the dash. I'm looking through here. You know, there's a easy place to come up and set the anchor. There's uh, all the gauges and everything that you need. It's, yeah. it's not lacking, I suppose, no. in the amenity department. No, no. And it's also, uh, you know, you can up, upsize just about everything on it. You can go 75 to 100 uh, mercury. Uh, you can put um, a live bait tank. You can do a uh, deck wash, bigger sounder. You can fit a nine inch uh, sounder on the dash. So it's, you know, it's, it's pretty uh, user friendly and adaptable, yeah. This thing powered by Mercury's 75 horsepower, 2.1 litre four stroke, and that engine in the 70 to 100 horsepower, it's the same engine, isn't it? Yes. It's just governed up. Yes, that's correct, yeah. Just the same engine, just uh, they just do some electronics to it and away it goes. Yeah. And of course, the advantage of the four stroke engine is there's none of that smoke, none of that noise that's associated with boating. Maybe when yeah. uh, a lot of these people were kids, it was all two stroke, yeah, but nowadays yeah, yeah. you can't buy a two stroke motor. Like that's that. correct, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and a lot of people, you know, um, uh, they're coming in now and they're saying, oh, no, no Yamaha on the back of your boats anymore. And we say, no, no, we're very, very happy to have uh, Mercury as our, one of our key partners uh, on our boats. And, um, you know, they look fantastic on the back of our boats too. Well, we're uh, at Wave Break Island at the moment. It's not a calm day. It's a little bit nasty at the front. Let's take uh, this boat for a ride. We're going to come back to you with some of the performance statistics. So that's what the Whitley FF 1650 looks like out on the water and it turned into quite a breezy day down on the broad water today. We filmed a lot of this in and out of the wind but uh, we've got a fair idea of what this thing rode like and it rides really nicely for a 16 footer uh, heading up with those wind against tide situations ploughing through the nasty stuff. Um, we've made a point that if you're stepping up into a glass boat this is a good way to do it. Uh, it's at the lower end of uh, what a fiberglass cabin style boat will set you back and it's easily towed behind most family vehicles on that single axle trailer. Um, 
Australian made as well. Whitley's a proud Australian company, been making boats in Australia for decades. Uh, and if you want the peace of mind of an Australian made product, this is for you. Um, fitted with the 2.1 litre Mercury on the back, performed really well. And with the performance statistics, I do note that uh, with the big cabin superstructure and the clears and the bimini top on top, made a massive difference where we were going into or against the wind. And let me tell you one of the, an example of that is the fact that uh, the RPM limit, uh, when we were doing 3,500 RPM, we would get 1.4 kilometres per litre going into the wind and we turn around and go with the wind it turns into 2.3 uh, kilometres per litre. It's a, it's a massive difference and so we uh, sort of average them out to give you the performance stats. Now the performance stats for this boat, wide open throttle, we could get to about 5,000 RPM comfortably in this boat, 53 kilometres an hour uh, using 1.7 or getting 1.7 kilometres per litre. At 4,000 RPM was the most economical cruising speed, 38 kilometres an hour, but 2.4 uh, kilometres per litre burned. And this has a 70 litre fuel tank in it, which gives you around 150 plus kilometres of range. Um, plenty enough for all the day trips that you want to do. Um, like a lot of the Whitley boats nowadays, this is supplied with Whitley's rubber decking, and it means that it's really easy to wash it out of the hose at the end of the day uh, and keep this boat really clean. Uh, a couple of pedestal seats there somewhat limit your, uh, your storage options. If you want to take an esky out, you might have to keep it in the cabin, keep it in the back corner. Um, but it, this boat does offer a cabin to get out of the wind uh, and in the shade. Uh, it's not a cabin that's going to be big enough for you to sleep in, however. It's sort of a resting cabin, not a sleeping cabin, if you know what I mean. Helm position, comfortable enough. If it's going to get rough, if it's going to blow 25 knots, it's not going to be the most comfortable boat in the water. It's going to behave like any 16 footer, but anything under that, you can get up on top of the uh, waves and it rides quite nicely indeed. I found the throttle position to be actually quite high. It was a little bit hard to get used to the high throttle, although there is somewhere you can rest your arm up on the top. The rest of the dash layout is fine. This is fitted with one of Garmin's small striker sounders. I'm sure you would upgrade that if you're going to take home a package like this. What does a package like this cost? $58,188 as tested. For more information, check out the Whitley website down below. And also, if you want to keep in touch with the latest Whitleys, what boat shows they're at, what new models are being released, subscribe to their socials. The information is down below.